Hi, uh, this is Chicho, and I uh, just want to make a couple of videos uh, regarding uh, pomegranates. Okay, uh, now it's pomegranate season, as you can tell, I've loaded up on pomegranates, and what we're going to do right now is uh, take a look at three different ways uh, that we can eat pomegranates. Uh, two of them is just eating the seed, and the third one is uh, getting the juice out, eating, um, drinking fresh pomegranate juice, which is basically my favorite way uh, to enjoy these delicious little things. Um, so what we're going to do is take a look at the first couple of ways, which is basically eating the seed. Okay. Um, one way you can do it is uh, you take basically a pomegranate and you cut it in half. And the way you cut it is not from, you know, the way it's hanging, you cut it sideways, right? So if you take your pomegranate like this, you cut it like this, okay, just sideways. And what you need to do with pomegranates or what you have to be careful with pomegranates is pomegranate juice stains. And you usually wouldn't be doing this on a table like this. You probably take the bowl and put it in the sink and do what I'm about to do, what I'm about to show you in the sink. But we're gonna do it here because it's, uh, it's a nice layout, okay? Uh, so what you end up doing with your pomegranate is take your pomegranate, um, take a nice knife, sharp knife, and what you do is take either a rag, uh, you know, just a rag you have like this or, you know, some napkin and put it on top because when you cut this thing in half, the odds are juice is gonna pop out. So what you're gonna do is line it up, get a nice little hook on it, right? And take a look at it and cut this thing. And you can tell, right? This thing's like fantastic. It drips juice. Now, this is what your pomegranate looks like. I'm going to take this thing and just wipe it down a little bit. Okay. So it doesn't drip everywhere. And when you take a look at it, that's what your pomegranate looks like on the inside, right? And it's sort of hard if you don't know um, how to get the seeds out initially, but once you play around with pomegranates a little bit, you, you figure out how to deal with them, okay? Um, the first way you end up doing it is take a big bowl like this and either take a wooden spoon or a metal. I usually use this, but you gotta be pretty careful with this because it's hard. You don't wanna destroy the skin right away. Uh, initially when you start popping it. So try wood, wooden spoon right away, uh, initially anyway, for the first part. And what you end up doing is slowly tapping it on its side. And as you can tell, little bits of seeds start popping out. And initially there isn't gonna be that many seeds popping out. Uh, but what you do, you slowly move your hand around, move the, move the pomegranate around. And because these things are um, you know, put together really tightly, as soon as a few of them fall out, uh, slowly the more you tap it, the more of them start falling out and faster. So it becomes pretty rapid, okay? And you're not, you know, you're not tapping it gently. You're hitting it fairly hard, but don't destroy the skin. Okay. Don't cut the skin because you want the skin to be intact. Uh, so you can manage it. You don't want the pomegranate seeds to go everywhere. And what happens when you do this, you're going to end up getting little bits of white stuff. Um, just the packaging, I guess, uh, what keeps the seeds in there. Uh, those are edible. You can eat these things. If they fall out really big, you can take them out and put them out, or you can do it at the end once you get all the seeds out. Sometimes you have to loosen it up a little bit for it to pop out, okay? Boop. And within a minute or so, this is what you end up having, right? Nothing left on the inside. All the seeds are out. Um, the white bits are out as well, these guys. So what you can do is uh, take your pomegranate shell and just put your the remains in there. And usually you wanna keep one hand clean, right? You don't want, um, both hands to have pomegranate juice all over it because you're going to need this one other hand to do other things um, because once you start this you end up probably you know do a few in a row that way you can put it in the fridge and uh, just keep it intact right uh, or just keep it there for a while and uh, um, you can enjoy it for a few days there you go and sometimes the skin breaks, right? And if you don't cut it exactly in, in half, um, one side becomes, the first one we did here, becomes harder to get the stuff out because you do have to just do a little and take out some of the white stuff before the insides can pop out. So we're just gonna take another one. Here, let's take another guy. And usually wash these things um, before you go ahead and start doing this because, because you know, yeah, you do we need to wash your fruit. So what we do is, again, we take this thing and we're gonna cut it in half. So I'm gonna take my napkin. So never cut it 
never cut it with uh, going across this way, right? You want to cut it in half sideways, right? The top and the bottom should be uh, still intact. So take it, you know, align yourself that you're halfway through, right? Just put a little dent in it and then put your rag or napkin on top of it and Ooh, and look at this one. Very nice. Beautiful. And this one, this time I'm going to do it with uh, the metal. That way you see what the difference is. And it's more, it's stronger, right? But you have to be careful. You can't go too hard with the metal because you don't want to break the skin right away. And with the metal, it's easier. It's got more of a kick to it. And you do still have, you know, you can take a look, some of the white stuff in there, right? Uh, that stuff you can pick out later, or again, you can still eat them, right? Take another one. Look at this thing, so red, amazing. Pomegranate season. Again, you see, it, it comes out empty, right? There might be a couple left in there, two or three left in there, but during pomegranate season, uh, you're not shy of pomegranates, right? So two of these things, gets us about that much right and that's a fair bit that's you know at least a day or two days supply for one person anyway um, and let's do just another one so I'm gonna take my napkin again you can see it's all red all over it cut it in half so I lodge it in there just gently you don't want to go too deep because it's, um, the pomegranate juice is gonna pop out to make sure you're aligned cut it in half and again let's do one more just so you get a feel for what the volume is on this. Ooh. And then what you do, you hit it at the top, right? Once you get the seeds on the side done, hit it at the top. You can see it just pops out super fast. Ooh. You take the little bits of white out and every now and then you get a little pomegranate on the side and three pomegranates gives us this much pomegranates right fantastic and one of the best ways you can eat this well two ways two ways I end up usually eating this uh, one of them is just straight up with a spoon take a little bowl uh, this goes amazing with yogurt just straight up white yogurt um, fantastic with yogurt if you can you know it'll, it'll be a base you can add a different fruits in there or throw in shakes or whatever you want um, the second way um, I end up eating the seeds is I take a pomegranate and this one's a little uh, down and dirty um, but what you end up doing is just crack it open again again do the same thing cut it in half okay and what I end up doing is cutting it one more time now be careful with this right this, this pomegranate juice does stain on your clothes so when you're doing this you want to wear something that's darker, right? Because you don't, if you get juices on there, um, you know, you don't want to destroy any nice clothes that you have or anything light colored. And then what I ended up doing is cutting it into a quarter. And once you've cut it into a quarter, what you can do is just go here. I'm going to show this to you guys close up. All you do is just go click, pop it out. And these things are contained. I don't really, it's sort of like paws, right? Take a look at this thing, right? Here. see this guy it just comes out and paws right so what you can do is just eat it on one bite takes out a chunk of it right fantastic so good And that's the second way I like eating the pot, eating the seeds, because uh, uh, there's something about just going down and dirty on it and just taking uh, the seeds out with your teeth. And you definitely do need a napkin. And you're definitely going to get both hands dirty if you eat it this way. And that's what's left of the original pod that I showed you, or the little little chunk, right? And again, lost another one. Ooh. 
Okay. So what I'm going to do right now is eat this half one. Take the rest of this and put it in the bowl with uh, smacking with my metal. And I do definitely like the metal, right? Because as you could tell, it comes out a lot easier. Um, what we're going to do in the next video is um, I'm going to show you my favorite way to eat pomegranates or the way that I've done uh, more often than not uh, since I was like a little boy uh, eating pomegranates. And that's squeezing it and getting the juice out and sucking out the juice. And it's absolutely magnificent. And you could do it anywhere and you don't get dirty. You don't need any tools. All you need is a pomegranate and a little bit of muscle and a little bit of patience. Okay. So in the next video, um, we're going to do, uh, I'm going to show you how I end up uh, sucking out the juice, uh, squishing pomegranates and sucking out the juice. Uh, juice. Okay. Fantastic.